Living your life is difficult, but it's all put into perspective when you die. Drinking on the bench again. I'm so classy. to looking at those figures I gave you last week yet, Ollie. I'll get to them when I get to them. You're such a waste of space, Ollie. What's the point of you even being here if you're not going to do anything right? I can't believe that. 
that Ollie is so useless. Really? Whenever I ask him to do something, he either just doesn't, or he takes so long, it's not even worth asking. Like, I gave him some figures to work on last week, and the idiot hasn't even bothered to look over them yet. If he's not careful, Karen will be hearing about this. So, um, what have you been up to anyway? You catch the game the other night, dude? Yeah, good equal, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. I think they're on uh, top form this season. Top of the league, I say. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit, dude. I've got some work to catch you in a bit. So, what were you saying? Oh, it doesn't matter. You're alive then? <laughs> Sorry to have disturbed you in your busy life yesterday. Thanks for getting back in contact with me as well. Nice one, yes, you lad. Oh, come on, Dexter, don't be like that. So I didn't get back to you. It's not a big deal. Just let it go, man. Thank you. Ollie, you knocked my door in the middle like this. I'm not sure even how you made it here, you was that drunk. You could have been mugged or something. Ah, and the worst part, you were sick on my floor, I had to clean up your mess while you was asleep on my sofa. Walked down in the morning, expect you to be there, he wasn't, he disappeared. And this is the first time you've contacted me since. Look, I'm not being funny, but for all I know, you could have choked on your own sick, you could have fallen down the stairs or worse. If you sent the first time, it certainly won't be the last. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't thinking straight. I'm sorry I'm not perfect. I guess I just came around here because I needed a friend. Someone I know who's always going to be there. You're my oldest friend, Dex. The one I've known for so, so long and would never leave my side. I don't mean to do this to you, I just need to sort myself out, that's all. Look, mate, I'm only saying this because I'm your friend, believe me. You need to sort it out. No more drinking. No more coming to my house at four in the morning. You just need to sort it. What happens if I'm not in? You fall down the stairs, crack open your head, then what? Look, I can't be there for you all the time. You need to sort your life out. I know. I know. It's, it's bad. When I'm on my own, all I want to do is drink. It's depressing, really. But I can get through this with you stood by my side. It's not that, like... Anything I can help. Just always be there for me. Look, this is the last time. I mean it. I really, really, really mean it. Cheers for being there for me, man. No one's ever been there for me like you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Then I shouldn't be doing this to you right now, because I know you've got enough crap to deal with. Anyway, enough of the soppy bollocks. How's yeah. work? Yeah, it's not too bad. What? He's still playing hard to get there. Really? Ah, uh, look, I know the situation. I'll put the kettle on. The usual, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Brilliant. I bet it's just making you look like a rifle. You have no idea, mate. Um, anyway, what about that girl that you were telling me about at the bar that you met last week? Ah, you mean the girl from the restaurant? Y yeah, yeah, that, that's the one I'm in. Well, I don't know really, mate. I haven't spoken to in a few days. The last time I saw was when we was on the day. I feel like I'm, I'm some surreal special here, you know what I mean, mate? Ollie?
things. Just on the way to work and tell them, watch out, go in, stupid cow. I've started bumping into him and he's acting like nothing happened. Like, after what happened, sharing my gear. Well, well, well. Look who it is. What do you want? Well, I've been thinking. I was a bit harsh on you earlier. Oh, really? I was also thinking... To make it up to you, I'd keep you company tonight. Oh, well, uh, how can I believe you, seeing as your behaviour was so convincing in the office today? I guess. I'm just going to have to prove it to you then. So did you hear back from that promotion you went for? Nah, not yet. I feel like they're being really shady about this though. But today Lauren told me that she heard Karen saying that they're considering someone else for the position as well. I didn't know anyone else applied for it. Oh, it's such a good position. I'd kill for that job. I can't help that I've been a little bit distracted lately. Next door. What are you paying at Oliver? What? What are you paying at Oliver? After everything I just said about you sorting yourself out and me being there for you, you go ahead and repay me by stealing my money. What's this? Are you seriously that dumb? Are you thick in the head? Mel, calm down. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Well, I ain't got a love. It's had nothing to do with you. It's between me and my so-called friend. Some friend, huh? Well, what you got to say for yourself, you know? Give me all this bullshit about you stop drinking and you, you scoff that down your neck. How did you pay for it, I wonder? Oh yeah, of course, my money. I don't think he's got a problem. It's only a few glasses of wine. <laughs> you don't know him like I do. It's probably a good job too, because he's broken my trust. He stole from me. Ollie? Please tell me this isn't true. You wouldn't steal off friends and stupidly spend it on alcohol. Would you? I've had enough now, mate. I don't understand why you've changed so much, you know. Your parents, they gave you a good upbringing. Gave you everything you ever wanted and more. And now they don't want anything to do with you. Because you stole from them too. I'm sorry, Ollie. You clearly have stuff to sort out. I... I should leave. You see what you've done now? Oh. Everything was going great until you came and fucked everything up. Thanks, mate. Are you serious? Is that what you're worried about? Why aren't you listening to me? Why aren't you taking things seriously? Why ain't you taking your own life seriously? I told you a million times, mate. You're gonna drink yourself to death. <laughs> 